Here's a real time-saving feature when you're working with animations in PowerPoint, and that's the ability to uh, copy animations that you've created in one shape and add it to another. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how that works. So uh, we're going to open up a blank PowerPoint slide. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a shape. So I've got this rounded rectangle here, and let's go ahead and add some uh, formatting to that. So we're going to click on the Format button. We'll just go ahead and choose uh, this effect here. And so we've got something that kind of has a, an insert or indented look. And then uh, let's add some, uh, let's add a reflection on that. So we'll go ahead and add a reflection. Now, uh, what you used to be able to do, and you can still do that in PowerPoint, let's just create another shape. And let's say we're going to create this, um, we'll just take the plus shape here. So we're going to create this plus shape. Now I spent all this time getting this shape to look exactly right. Now what I want to do is apply it to here. And I can quickly do that by just clicking on this shape and selecting Format Painter. And then I go ahead and click on the plus shape and whatever formatting I have here is going to be applied here. And you've always been able to do that. But now in PowerPoint 2007 there's also an Animation Painter. So let's say I've got this shape here, and we're going to go ahead and go to the Animations panel. And what we want to do is we're going to have the animation, we're going to have the shape come in, do something, and then go out. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll have the um, let's go ahead and have the animation fly in. So it's flying in from the bottom. Uh, let's have let's um, let's see here. And then after it flies in, we want to add an animation. So let's go ahead and have it um, spin. Uh, so we'll, or let's do it, have it teeter. So we're going to have it teeter. And then uh, we'll add another animation and we'll have it exit. And let's go ahead and have it uh, drop out. So when we preview it, what we see is the animation comes in, teeters, and drops out. And you know, that took us a few seconds. But if I was building a more complex animation, and then I wanted to apply it to this shape, I'd have to build that out in this shape. But with the Animation Painter, I no longer have to do that. So I can uh, take this uh, shape right here, click on Animation Painter, and apply it to here. And now I have the exact same effect uh, without having to spend all that time. Uh, and, and that's really nice, especially when you come in here. And let's say we go into the Animation Painter. Let's say we start to fine-tune some of the animation. So uh, let's say on the when it comes in, we want to have it bounce. So there's a new bounce effect in PowerPoint. So let's see how it does that bouncing. So let's say I've got that. So I made a modification here, and now I've got to go in here and, and manually modify all these. Um, with the Animation Painter, I don't need to do that. So I can click on the Animation Painter, apply it, and then the bounce is applied to that as well. So it's a real fast way to take the animations you've placed on one object or built with one object and apply it to another and that'll really save you a lot of time if you're doing animations.